do we do an interview now? Is this how we... <laughs> Back... but, but we don't... Oh, look, all I wanted to hear was please. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Action! Oh, no. So watching. impolite. Oh my Lee's god. Watching. Who are you and why? <laughs> Why, I still haven't figured out, but I'm Martin Splitz, and I have recently joined the ranks of DevRel for search and web ecosystem at Google. Mm. So what, what are you here to do at Google then? Google Search wants to basically get out of your way. That's the idea. Like we, You just do the right thing for your users, and we do the heavy lifting on the back end to make that happen. So is this basically where, you know, for the longest time, certain techniques were a no-go for developers because it would lower your chance of getting to the position in search where you wanted to end up? Well, that's, that's still a thing. Like, you can still try to game the system, and the game is going to punish you for it. Like, we, we are pretty good at catching these things. Yeah. But nonetheless, there are a few things where we can improve the way that we help you like, get stuff on, on search and get yeah. like, uh, the, the relevant users to your page. Um, and that's like, a bunch of best practices. And there's going to be talks on, uh, on I.O. here from, from my coworkers uh, Maria and John, John Miller and Maria Moeva. All right. And they're going to tell you more about how to make like, JavaScript and search better friends. And in the background, I'm basically like, figuring out where JavaScript and search are not friends yet. I guess we'll link to those, maybe? Yes, if yeah, we will. Please available. Do. So is this is about making things like, like single page apps yeah, more single page accessible. Apps, I mean, one of the biggest apps, changes and... recently where now the crawler basically is able to execute JavaScript. So single right. page apps suddenly yes. became a, a proper first class right. citizen in search results. Right. But then certain people figured out, like, wait a minute, you say it executes JavaScript, but does that, what does that mean? Like, if my page takes. 10 seconds of executing JavaScript, is that fine? Or what if I do this? It's not. Interesting, it's, it's <laughs> ne never, it's, that's never fine. It's that never going to be. But like, there's a few things, and we are running a certain Chrome version. We have recently published, well, recently, I think like last year, we published which Chrome version that is. We are a little 40 something. <laughs> so yeah, we're a little behind there. <laughs> and we're working on catching up. And uh, for the time being, we have to like put out some guidelines for people to fix the issues. And we're also like getting into how the frameworks are doing certain things, and if we can help them do certain things better, or if they're doing things fine already, so that like people get a better, I mean, better but that's, that's a pretty different angle, because before, you were doing like VR, AR things, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's like the yeah. other end of the spectrum. That's, that's pretty much the other end of the spectrum. That's nonetheless super exciting, because obviously you want like, people to find your stuff. And it's cool if you build VR Who things. Who would have but, thought? Like, right, I know. And um, in a future, hopefully not too far out, we might actually also have a look at how we get like 3D content into search so that you can Oh, no, because I hate looking for things around the store. Don't, is that what it's going to be like? Like, searching on the internet search is going to be like walking in there, and it's no, like, no, 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 you have that's... to walk up to someone no. and go, excuse me, I'm Here's just looking. Here's page no, one, aisle page mean. two. I'm just no, looking for on. some socks. No, no, Where is no, the sock no, no. aisle in but, Google? But if you, today, if you search for a product, you might already see like a price tag and where you can buy it and a little picture. But if the picture is not really helpful, then it would be nice to just be able to spin it around, no? That is true. That is true. Boom. And what? I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying like that's something that I personally would love to see. You can already be quoted out of context now. It's, it's amazing. We can do that with CSS 3D already, right? <laughs> you, can, you can just spin it around. It's, yeah. it's the same thing on the other side, just reversed, right? <laughs> that would work no, for socks. Yeah, for socks that would, that would be probably fine. not help, but you know, or CDs. Like a picture of the CD is probably yeah. You don't have to explain that for the younger viewers. Oh right, yeah. We used to we <laughs> used to like store music so that we can like listen to it on the go eventually, and it was like very compact. Discs. Yeah, ironically very, called very, the compact. Very disc. compact. The, the size apparently is chosen so that some like Beethoven something something symphony fits on it right away. Like it's Phillips designed it that way. Is that right? Is yeah. That right? Okay. yeah. Oh, is that why it's what is what, 64 minutes originally? Yeah. 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 That, that's, that's the reason why. So it's like it's 60, one, this city can hold point, one Beethoven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 64.7 something, like it's ridiculous, but that's, that's where I So are you from. saying they could have made it better and just didn't because it fits a Beethoven's good enough? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, that's, that's fine. So if, if, people are, trade -off. If, if people are wanting to do yeah. better at search on the web, yeah. right, what's, what's, what's step one? Is it, is it to tweet you and ask nicely and you can... <laughs> Go and press the buttons, and the thing goes no, to the top. No, none, none of us can do that, and none of us will do that. We also don't like offer 
any preferential support. So even if you're a partner, you're not getting anything that other people are not getting. So the best thing is build it for your users. Use the tools that we are putting out there, like Lighthouse, PageSpeed Insights. There's the mobile first testing tool, which gives you a bunch of insights. Search Console is a thing that you can verify for your own page. And then you get like a lot of insights on how you're doing in search as well. And you oh, can see how we, Google is rendering it. We get feedback it. on that. Yeah. So this is, this is a kind of way to see how like the Google crawler sees your yes, site, right? Yes, that's like, it's called Fetches Google. It's probably going to be called something else soonish because we're working on a new version of the search console. We like to rename Hashtag things. Branding. Yeah. Hashtag branding. Yeah, yeah. Make it difficult for people to find perfect excellence. Okay. Especially in the search console, uh, things like finding things that are important, like, right? But like this, uh, the mobile first testing tool uh, that gives you also a view of how Google sees your page. Um, and shows you like JavaScript errors and stuff. So it's pretty cool, actually. That seems see, helpful. Yeah, that's that's useful. Because, because beforehand, you said just, like the version is a little bit further back, so certain yeah, yeah, APIs yeah, yeah. might throw it. Don't the, throw it stable. Correct. And you basically beforehand, all you had is like you go fetch this Google, and then it goes white page. Sorry. Great. And then deal with it. <laughs> Um, so, so what kind of cases, where, where is that going to happen? Is this like in case of JavaScript errors or...? Yes, in case of JavaScript errors, if you use features that, like if, you, if your site breaks, if you use certain features that are not supported by the slightly older version of Chrome that runs the Google Teeny, bot, teeny bit older. Tiny so little like bit of deviation. It's, it's, it's relatively not that old relative to the age of the planet. I mean, right? the, like the internet is 25 years old or something, right? So it's like, it's a glimpse. Nothing but a glimpse. So what, if you've got that kind of JavaScript, heavily JavaScript-based page, you're seeing the errors, uh, they seem just like nothing coming up in the search console. What's what's your next steps? How, how are you going to improve that? I mean, you would have the errors now in the console. Yeah, that's if, the if there were right? errors, you have errors. Them, but so you can, you, you can like, now you have yeah. actional features. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. but, what, but what if it's like, you know, if, if core like, feature not supported, yes. go away. Right. Um, then one right. way... Just babel it. Babel everything. So, so John talks about that in his session. Uh, there's like server-side rendering, and there's something that John likes to call dynamic rendering, where you like render certain bits and pieces and serve it when you see the Googlebot. I know UA sniffing is not a cool thing, but that's, you know... Oh, that's like, that sounds like gaming <laughs> the search system. And you said that was bad. I'm going to have to yeah, pull you up on that. Here's the thing. Like, like, you should not do it to like trick users, because we're going to we're gonna catch that. But if you, right. if you serve us an exact copy of your content uh, for the Googlebot, then you'll be fine. You're not going to be penalized or anything. But like if that. it's an exact copy, then what's the point? The point being <laughs> that you can like layer on additional functionality. Like If you give oh. us a static HTML version... I see. So with server yeah. rendering, basically. Yes, exactly. It's, it's about the rendering. But then yeah. on the Google version, you don't yeah. inject with JavaScript and do yeah. magic if, stuff. If you, use, like, if you use, I don't know, 2019 JS, which is probably going to be coming out very soon. And like probably going, next year. Yeah, yeah right? I, I would guess. Or io18.js, uh, which is probably announced right now. Um, then, then, then you might run into problems with search, and then you can go like, okay, but I can like have a server-side process render out to some HTML so that I we get the content of your document and the relations between the different documents that your application consists of. But that's good for performance in general, right? That's good for like real yes. users as well. Yes, which is why we are fine with it because again, we don't try to build it's a something win -win. specifically. Yeah. We don't try to we don't try to make you something specific for search. What we want is to make your website better for the, your users, and make it relevant, and make it high quality, and yeah. make good content. And then it's our task to get you found. But we don't do interviews, mate. We never have done interviews on two or three. We're suddenly starting to do interviews now. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to be awkward if we don't interview the person that is sat. I mean, no, it's, it's fine. You know, I have got a phone with me. It's over there. Yeah, you can just yeah, browse just... the Instagrams. We just yeah. you know chat just... about the usual stuff. Well, make this more interesting. Like up the. Up the bat here, I'm gonna use your phone. Well, for I, a while. Well, I, I live tweet this. I How don't about recommend. That? I don't recommend.